Okay, let's talk quickly about libraries. Uh, you will find that at some point there won't be the part that you want or need in these two simple libraries, connectors and devices. So let's look about how we can add libraries and how we can search for parts. First, we downloaded the ECE library. So let's go to our libraries. I'm going to click on libraries. And then I'm going to tell it I want to install a library. Just because we downloaded it didn't mean it was installed. I'm going to install from a file. Okay, so I downloaded that library, and my library downloaded into this downloads area. You'll, wherever you downloaded yours is where you're going to want to look. And it's called the ECE library new. And then it says INT. LIB, internal library. I'm going to install that library. Tell it close. Now if I come up here, I now have a third library installed. And here's a library of most of the common parts that we use. I can use my down arrow key and we can look. There's a USB connector. There's your Atmega. Some people will use Atmegas, right? We can move down a little bit farther. There's the PIC processor with the proper footprint, so you don't have to do that one. There's the MSP430 with the DIP38 footprint. That's the surface mount footprint on, built onto the little breakout board. So it's possible to add these, right? I can just tell it place. There's the microprocessor. I can hit escape so I don't have to place it. So you can see it's very easy to add a library. But what if there's a part I want and I don't know which library to look in? I don't want to install 400 libraries trying to find it. So let's go to libraries. I'm sorry, I don't want to go to libraries. I want to go to search. Okay, so my value is going to be LM741. And I don't want it equals, and the reason is it will have to exactly equal LM741. If it's a 741 UBM or a dash ISP or whatever, who knows what it could be, I'll never find it if it doesn't exactly equal that. So I'm going to tell it contains. Now if I leave available libraries, that means libraries I already have installed. You can look there first. If you don't find the part you want, then you come down to libraries on path. And I'm going to click and say the libraries on path. For me, mine is under the downloads Altium library because this is a fresh install and that's where it is. I wouldn't leave it there normally, but you'll want to point to wherever you saved that big massive library file that we downloaded and uh, unzipped. So I'll point there. And I'm going to tell it, uh, if we look there by the way, let me just show you this. You'll see all the different manufacturers, 3M, Altera, Atmega, Avago, all these different companies, Fairchild, it's all there. So I'm going to tell it search, and you can see it quickly passing by here. It's at Actel. We'll probably start seeing them when we get to National. National Semiconductor makes an LM741. Uh, I'm forcing it to look at all the libraries right now, so it's not going to be fast. If I change my mind, because maybe I know who makes a 741, I could then stop it and point it to this National Semiconductor. There we go, National Semiconductor. Well, I'll tell it to stop now, because we have plenty of options here. Now, you'll see the picture on the very bottom. This is actually the part that we have installed here. And you'll see it has that little round can. That's a weird footprint. We don't use those footprints normally. They are still used, and usually this type of part is a military spec, or they call it a mill spec part. It can take higher and lower temperatures, it can take more shock, they're more expensive. So we don't, uh, we don't use those. We're, we're going to change that. Let's say I can just move down. Oh, look, there's a 741. And look at that. It's the same footprint that we're used to, that little 8-pin dip. And it's an A-pin dip. The DIP stands for Dual Inline Package. So I can actually swap this out. I can tell it, place this 741. And what does it say? Library not available. I never opened that library. I just searched them. So it asks, do you want to install it? 
yes I want to install it there's my 741 with the right footprint so let's double click this now I'm gonna tell it it's U1 well I should make it U100 it complains red line I have two U100s I'm gonna to come to this one and delete it I'm gonna take this one and put it in there and now I've got the right footprint not that little round can looking thing looks like a miniature water tower we'll save that I can double click this hit the edit button just so I can see the picture that's the footprint I want so everything is saved. I've just shown you a quick way to search libraries, add libraries, place parts from a library that you've searched but haven't opened yet. It's uh, not that hard, pretty easy. I hope this helps you in your design. And we'll be back with another video where we're going to move all these parts onto the PCB.